Been sitting on our asses for almost four hours. You're bound to leave soon enough. You know, for a P.I., you're awfully impatient. Awfully bored, more like. How many we still got down there? I count six. We just need to sit tight. Wait for an opportunity. Yeah, well, they're sure taking their sweet old time about it. Don't like that. A lit cherry is a surefire way to blow our cover. <laughs> Say, you bring anything to eat? Uh, there's a chocolate bar in the glove box. Mmm. Pretty good. Want a piece? No, I brought my own. <clears throat> Sorry. Did you want some? I'm good, Rufus. Heads up. Looks like the prowler is hitting the road. Now's our best chance to get in unnoticed. Finally. Don't know how much longer I could stand smelling that canned slop you got. Hold on. Mm, more cruisers. Something's up. That bacon don't smell right to me. Shit. Looks like we're on the frying pan. And into the fire. You stay with the car. I don't need your bum arm slowing me down. Good idea bringing along the sleep aids. Putting them to sleep will be a cinch. Great idea coming up with the cop, duds. It's like a fun little costume pod. Oh, oh. Stupid asshole. How'd you like that, huh? Don't mind if I do. Wonder what they're after. Worry about that later. For now, we try and pacify all of them. We don't need more corpses lying around the crime scene. Now look at this beauty right here. Oh, now Can't those are some wheels. A Paragon Deluxe Imperial Phaeton S600. Oh, <laughs> never thought I'd see today. A veritable chariot of the gods. I'd give my left nut to take this thing for a spin. Even for just a minute. Oh, just thinking about it is making me feel... <laughs> <laughs> it's just a car. You're gonna make me puke if you keep carrying on like that. They didn't really mean that, did they? No, they couldn't have. Unless... I'm getting hungry. Need a bite soon. Man, I gotta take a shit. You just lie there and bleed.
tight, asshole. Real swanky. Sure, we can't take nothing? No, stupid. Nobody's supposed to know we're here. What do you think the get-ups were for? Glassjaw wants us looking for that... Judging ball. by the height and shape of the body, this must be Waltz. So quit Skewered the to the wall. Seems pretty personal. Killer's gotta be real strong to turn a fella into a kebab. Looks like signs of a struggle here. Chalk outline here. One of Waltz's bodyguards. Blood spray on the wall. Probably shot through the neck. Nobody gonna take my pipe away from me. No one. Nobody gonna take my pipe away from me. No one. Ooh, get tired. Later, shitbag. Damn. I knew Waltz was well healed, but yeesh. Should have asked for more dough when he hired me. Focus, Mike. You've got a job to do. Search around the house for any clues pertaining to the murders. Those guns are looking for something, so keep your eyes peeled. Jumping at shadows. Bloody footprints. Size eight and a half. Tiny fella. Gates a bit off. Owner of the shoe must have either had been wounded or has a slight limp. Welcome to Switchblade City, tough guy. A good-sized button from a man's overcoat. Marv's everyday apparel. Mm. Mike, we're here for clues, not valuables. Listen, the guy's dead. He ain't gonna be missing it. Noise. <gasps> All right. I hear a fight. Somebody there. Huh? Hey, somebody hey. fooling around. <gasps> Wait, oh, where? shit. Somebody there. Huh? Take this. Uh -huh. right. Get it. 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 Things are looking up for me. You not so much. Hello? Huh? 
Victim struggled. Blood splatter and position of the body suggest blunt force trauma to the head. Killer must have run out of bullets. Whoa! Weapon jam. Come on, you fit squeeze. Come here. Sit down. Hmm. Not bad. Police must have missed this. Bit of blood on the corners. This wouldn't be left behind by your average hitman. Another stiff. Shot multiple times. Seems like he tried to crawl away before the killer finished him off. <laughs> Got a handprint. No fingerprints. The killer was wearing gloves. Height and angle of the hand tells me the killer was about... 5'10", 5'11". This horror show is starting to make my skin crawl. Someone broke in here and put Waltz on display like a hunting trophy. Someone small, strong, and smart. Kitty put his artwork up on the fridge for everyone to see. Seems pretty proud of himself. This is not the mom's playbook. We might have to reframe the way we're looking at this. Still, the last of men were here for a reason. Keep searching. There has to be something. Right in the piggy bank. Does Waltz read all these, or are they just for show? Hmm.
look at that. A secret room. Hmm. Well, hello, sweetheart. Crooks are socked and dropped. Thomas must be off his nut if he's willing to go this far to get whatever he's after. I don't know if he's desperate or just stupid. He's certainly bold. Whatever the case, let's check the house for some answers. We have to work fast. Right in the piggy bank.
Chip in the floor here. This one might have been struck with some sort of long, sharp object. Something heavy. self-portrait. How pretentious can you get? So these are the aces, huh? Whatever happened with you guys? Mm, it's a long story. Some of us didn't see eye to eye on things. That led to some bad plays on Maltz's part, which in turn led to some tragic events. Well, by the time it was over, the city wanted nothing to do with us. A busted flush if I ever saw one. You all used to wear screwy get-ups like this? Alexia Price. What do you know about her? Went by Scarlet Whisper. She was the one that came up with the idea of forming the Aces. I thought Waltz formed the group. Waltz took credit for a lot of things. Still can't wrap my head around why Waltz hired me to find her. Right in the piggy bank. Think I found what they were after. Woof. This file's got dirt on just about everybody in town. Names, dates, addresses, the works. Maltz has been getting rather chummy with the Benedetto crime family, it would seem. This would make the average highbinder blush. We got more trouble upstairs. Grab those documents and get out of there. Wait, there's more here. Your old ace's pals weren't so squeaky clean either. 
They're all wrapped up in this sour racket. They warned my pals. What about that buddy of yours I rescued? It's complicated. Now, now. You will be leaving with my documents. Would you? Once you find Thomas? him, bring him to me. I want to be the one who puts the bullet in his skull. Night's been full of surprises, huh? I got one more for you. Well, for your friend with the goggles, that is. Got this gizmo off a pretty young thing that's been snooping around my nightclub. But she ain't up to much nice. time right now. Nice. Needed some booze money. Tell ya, that son of a bitch. Here's how things are gonna go down. You have something I want, so you're gonna deliver it to me, and then I'll let you walk out with the girl. gonna hurt you much get up you damn moron oh, oh, I know you're hiding somewhere he's over here I know it We can caught him. Crystal. Good. Moth and Flame Nightclub. Don't keep me waiting. Thank you.